What is up guys? I am doing this as a response from a comment that I received yesterday evening. Sorry it's taking me so long to, well, not, actually it's not taking me that long because I'm doing it the, the second day. <laughs> anyway, but this is a response to uh, Yellow Flash 1300. And I wonder if you're a fan of DC Comics because Yellow Flash is like one of the opposites of the Flash. So anyway, <laughs> just a cool fact. Uh... Anyway, I think I got that right. Watch someone butcher me if I got it wrong. But anyway, regardless, um, and the question was, can you do a video on how you put your paper drawing onto your tablet? So, that is exactly what I'm going to do for you. <laughs> so, let's get started. It's really simple, actually. And, let me see. Okay. You know, the, the, I had actually done this video once. And I ran out of room because I forgot to clear my camera. So, that's why I was just deleting the old photo from the last one. Okay, so anyway, so here we go. Boom. Sketchbook Pro. This is what it will look like if you open, um, when you open Sketchbook Pro completely by, its, by itself or whatever. Anyway, by the way, I'm using the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1, the first generation. So, it's a little slower, but whatever. It gets the job done. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, whoops, first thing you want to do is tap on this little, um, little thing right here. Okay, and then let me see if I can bring it a little bit closer without. Okay, so up here in this corner, this is actually your layers tab. So you tap on that. Then you're gonna when this first one comes out, this first little box, which is your first layer, you're gonna tap on that, and you tap that. <laughs> let me stop. Okay, then you're, <laughs> you're going to do import from camera. So we're going to click that. Or not import from camera, it just says import camera. Whoops, I keep bumping the camera. Saw myself for a second. <laughs> okay, so now what we can do is there's the drawing. It is right there. Now, the drawing is in portrait, and we're shooting this picture in landscape. So you can do it either or, but just for right now, I'm just showing you how to bring it in. So we're going to go ahead, let me see if I can focus a little bit better. There we go, that looks much better. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to hit, let me bring that over so you can see, and we're going to hit capture. Now, it should save in just a second, a little save option should pop up. There we go, so see, it should be right there, it should have that and our save button. So we're going to hit save. Then, once we do that, as you can see, now it's inside of Sketchbook Pro, which is amazing. <laughs> so, now what you can do is, uh, you know, if you want to get rid of the excess paper and all that stuff, just come over to, uh, let's see, let me bring it closer. Right over there. Anyway, regardless, I don't, I don't know if it's going to focus on it completely. But anyway, over here, there's like a pencil and a paintbrush. You tap on that. Tap on that. <laughs> and... You uh, select the eraser. It depends on if you want the soft eraser or the hard eraser. Um, and we're going to go with the hard. And all you do is you literally start... I'm trying to reach around the tripod and all that crap, so forgive me for being completely in the way. Okay, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. All you do is just start erasing. Just start erasing. So... That's all you want to do. Anyway, so you could just do that all the way until you get your image completely cropped out. Um, you know, so it, it's, it's fairly easy to do, especially with the pen. Um, it's really easy to do. So anyway, that is how that is done with, <laughs> with uh, Sketchbook Pro. How do you bring a drawing from your sketchbooks or whatever? And that's the thing that's amazing is you'll be able to, all of your, uh, all of your old drawings, you'll be able to put them into your Sketchbook Pro. And then have fun, and just be able to kind of recreate them and stuff. And by the way, too, um, if this has happened to any of you guys, let me focus. This is really irritating. Look at that. My pen busted. So, you know, that's kind of why I'm a little more happy that I actually got the Galaxy Note 8.0, because it, um, actually, I'll show it to you. It has the pen that it has. Yes, I took it out right now. The pen that it actually has is more like this. It's actually a hard tip, which actually, oh, come on, focus, focus. There you go. So you see that? So it actually works a lot better than the rubber tip. So if you can, do yourself <laughs> a favor and uh, 
get a Galaxy Note or something. So, anyway, because I just got pissed off. But um, these rubber tip ones, they're good, but if you can, you know, I, I'm starting to find out that they're actually, they, they break. You know, I, everything breaks, but I guarantee you this pin this, uh, from my Galaxy Note is going to last much longer. <laughs> so I don't know if it's going to break. If it breaks, if anything, it's going to break from someone snapping it, like right here in half or something. But um, anyway, so that's just a quick little uh, kind of two videos in one, pin reviews and uh, how to do that stuff. All right, so I'm going to end this video, and um, I'm going to try to do some more research and try to find the perfect rubber tip pin so we don't keep running into these kind of problems and all that stuff. But anyway, um, by the way, did you see that nice depth of field? I'm filming that on my Galaxy Note 8.0. I know, it's sick. So anyway, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video, and yeah, you guys have a good, happy holiday, uh, all that, you know, <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.